Right, here we are in my kitchen. And in this large pot, you can see I have what's known as pigeon condition mix. Pigeon conditioner mix. Uh, maples, tares, peas. Um, there's wheat in there. Lots of maize, obviously. Uh, little bits of bulgur, and it's a good mix for fattening up pigeons. Uh, racing pigeons this is, this isn't one you eat, but maybe. Uh, I put a kilo in the pot, sorry, half a kilo in the pot, and I've added the water until the top basically. And I've left this on uh, high for until it started to boil, and then I've turned it down to simmer, and uh, it's been in here for an hour now, and if you can stand the heat, you'll find that when you crush them, they're all soft. Um, if you use particles raw with uh, carp or barbel or tench, uh, they'll swell inside the stomach with the stomach juices. And uh, fish in the past have been known to be killed by this. This is why uh, a lot of fisheries say you have to buy their particles on site uh, because they know they're prepared properly. Right, this is going to get another hour now. Um, and they should be lovely. So you just have to keep on watching the pot, filling it up with water. Look, this was only like a third of the way full when I started, and now the pot is to the top. If you push it down, uh, the water is some potato water that I had from yesterday. Um, it just gives a little bit of starch and flavour to the, what's there. So, and what I'm gonna do with these is when it's finished, I'm gonna dry them off on a tray. Uh, drying tray and uh, they'll be PVO friendly after I've added some ground nut oil you can buy that in the supermarket um, Chinese supermarkets you can buy a lot of it in bulk then I'm going to add some uh, soy sauce because it's very salty and some chilli to it so I'll have some salt chilli uh, flavoured particles add to that some uh, uh, boilies uh, chopped up um, some of them ground and you've got a lovely PBA bag method um, you can also add um, I'm going to add some uh, four mil betaine pellets to it so look, there's uh, tears and stuff they're so soft now and uh, they're all swollen up I'm going to give them another hour just to see how much more liquid they can take on but um, you can also pre-soak uh, pre these for an hour before you start uh, which is useful um, 24 hours in hot water with a lid on will get you so you don't have to boil it for 2 hours but I wanted these done today ready so right take the spoon out <laughs> leave them on and another hour turn the gas down to uh, minimum made a bit of a mess getting them in there so uh, there we go right leave it on put the lid on but leave a gap because otherwise it will spill all over your cooker Right, there you go. Right, I've just come down with the bait you saw me make earlier. And I have just put out eight spoonfuls along this bit here. And uh, the oil cloud gone up. There's fish out there bubbling already. I've got half a bucket left for tomorrow night, Saturday night. And I'll be here Sunday afternoon, so... Get out of here quick before the bailiff comes up. <laughs> <laughs> 